heading off to rugby right now. A little uh, rugby drill practice with some of the guys catching footage today. I'll show y'all what that's about. It's, uh, it's fucking awesome. You're gonna enjoy it. Um, but I did, I had something I want to talk to you all about today. And it was kind of a question how everybody else feels about this as well, but the whole is keto sustainable? So I guess I get confused with it because how would it not be sustainable? You, you're on a high fat diet, you eat usually less food uh, than when you're on a more car high carb diet. Um, or any other diet really in general uh, you you sustain more energy um, more constant energy you don't have highs and lows throughout the day um, you can work out for like ever you don't get sore after you're keto adapted like athletically um, I get sick less often I would say the only thing that people would say are is unsustainable is just the social pressures. And that, I mean, that's, I get it, that's hard, but it doesn't mean it's not sustainable. Like, you can easily go out to eat and just get, like, a normal meal without the carbs or the, you know, your grain, your bread, whatever. I could go right now to any burger place and get a burger without the bun maybe some like extra get some bacon and cheese and that's it and then be keto like typically I mean when you get into some recipes it's hard to make a keto but when it's got like lasagna that'd be interesting well I guess you just pull out the noodle Noodle stuff, you're good, you know? So, I don't know, I get really frustrated when people say that it's not sustainable. It's like, how is it not sustainable? Like, really, all it does is it takes a little bit of a mindset to, you know, like, so this Thanksgiving was the first time I had like a keto holiday, and it's because my sister in law was the one who was like running it, and she's like, making all the food so she made cauliflower rice mashed potatoes and keto friendly gravy and which typically is but sometimes they have the filler um but like it just takes a little bit of an effort to figure out you know a recipe that works it's it's really just stop letting convenience be what dictates your life you know, convenience, things become more convenient the more that you do them. So if you practice it, then it's, it takes less work. That's what it really comes down to. So, I'd just say, yeah, I mean, you can trade convenience over it. If you're having a hard time with keto, and like with the recipes and everything, just keep trying it, keep doing it, and that's going to make it easier. So keep at it persist don't let anybody tell you that it's not sustainable because it is and uh, <laughs> it just makes, makes me laugh I don't get that like what are you talking about oh okay that's my enough of my uh, soapbox but um, if you want it to work you can make it work and that's that oh keep quiet ow Chill.
Tom, he's a client at SCI Recovery Project. And uh, yeah, I want to ask you, man, like what, what do you think is the biggest tip for somebody freshly after an injury as a quadriplegic? You gotta think positive. There's no such word as I can't. And don't listen to the doctor saying, well, this is as far as you're gonna go, this is all you can do. No, you gotta push yourself and you gotta, in your head, you gotta think the movement, the exercise, the form, everything, and get it to click again. Because you, everything in your body, all your nerves, your muscles all come from your head, are all connected to your brain. Once you kind of conquer your brain and say, I can do this, I will do this, I am going to be successful, I'm going to succeed, you're pushing yourself. And once you're pushing yourself, you'll see changes, but you've got to want to do it. If you don't want to do it, then you just might as well give up and just stay the way you are, which is a bullshit way of looking at things. Because you've got to progress and you've got to keep moving on. Keep on pushing and push, no matter how, how much it hurts or how difficult it is. You keep on pushing and say, I can, I will do this. I have the strength to do it. I am a positive person. Yeah. And there's no such thing as giving up. You've got to keep on pushing. That's all I can tell you. Oh, yeah, and Tom's been going to SCI Recovery Project for, for years now. I've only been here, like, two and a half years. How long have you been coming, Tom? Three. Three years? Shit, and he's, like, he's walking around, doing laps in this place. Like, he's who I'm looking up to, trying to catch up to him. But uh, thanks, Tom. It uh, definitely means a lot, man. I mean, it's we're going to be reaching out to people and, you know, chairs, quads, paras, whatnot, you know, and, I think that's really what they need to hear is that... You just can't you know, give up. Can't give never up. give up. Hell yeah. Each day is a challenge, and you just take that challenge, and you think positive and say, yeah, I'm going to get through this. That's the whole thing. It's a positive mindset. You don't let people put you down and say, well, this is all you can do. Oh, you're not going to get any better. Because that's bullshit, because they're not in your situation. They don't understand it. You've got to just keep in being persistent. Never give in and never give up. Hell yeah, challenge that norm. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Jake. We'll catch y'all soon. Have a good one, folks. We rise.